The MG ZST with more tech, more safety with 360 degree camera and more peace of mind from 25490 drive away. The award winning MG ZST, it's the more you've been looking for. 890 Sunshine Coast MG, across the Sunshine Coast on 91.1 and iHeartRadio. This is Hot 91 News. Good afternoon, Courtney Beck here with your news update. The current wave of COVID-19 is shaping up to be our worst yet, according to the Health Minister. Around 900 people are in hospital with either COVID or the flu. With staff also sick, Yvette Darth says it's putting the health system under added strain. We are seeing the majority of our hospital and health services have gone on to Tier 3, which means they are suspending uh, some of their planned care. Concern is growing for Queensland's social housing crisis following a report from the Auditor-General. More than 50,000 people are currently on the wait list, which is up by 80% compared with four years ago. The report found the list is poorly managed and state government plans to boost the number of dwellings won't keep up with demand. Eight recommendations have since been made. The man charged with murder over the death of a man in Brisbane's Fortitude Valley has been remanded in custody. It's alleged a 24-year-old was fatally stabbed during a brawl between two groups inside the Valley Metro complex. His accused killer, a 20-year-old man, didn't appear in court this morning when his case was mentioned. It will remain in custody until it returns to court in August. And archaeologists working on Melbourne's Metro Tunnel have found perfectly preserved coffee beans from 1855. The rare find confirms that 167 years ago, locals were shipping in beans from abroad and roasting them for flavour. At Chemist Warehouse, get 40% off Sukin Skincare. <laughs> Queensland coach Billy Slater insists no decision has been made on who will replace Cameron Munster in the halves. The Blues are confident Tom Dearden will start and have declared they're going to target the 21-year-old in his debut game. Slater says the team won't be using the COVID dramas as an excuse should they lose tomorrow night. We have to handle it, don't we? It's the cards that we've been dealt. And, um, yeah, looking forward to tomorrow night. It's going to be in a, cra- a crazy atmosphere right here at Suncorp Stadium. And Roger Federer has dropped out of the ATP rankings for the first time since 1997. TV for $1 sale is on now at l and Goldstar Designer Appliances. Ready to upgrade your home? Spend $4,000 or more on qualifying kitchen appliances to get a selected TV for just $1. Shop from Smeg, Fisher & Paykel, Electrolux, Westinghouse, and more. Hurry, don't miss out on a selected TV for just $1. Promotion ends the 24th of July. Shop in store at l and Goldstar Designer Appliances, 100 Enterprise Street, Cunder Park, or visit us online at designerappliances.com.au acstore.com.au Interest-free ducted air on 91, 91 Beach and Surf Afternoon, the swell boys up the little bar are still showing between 1.2 and 2.2 metres of southeasterly swell at 13 second intervals. We had a low tide at about 1.30. It's on its way back in again. Slight southwest is blowing. The better place we're checking for waves. Southern corner of Alexander Bay is the biggest. Still we're checking down around Coolum and the bays. The Maroochydore stretch also around Twin Waters on the southern end between Karamundi, Dickey Beach and Moffat. Now for swimming, not a very nice day for it, but the water is still hovering around 20 degrees as always. Stay safe, only swim between the red and yellow flag. We've got a wicket in order for the beach and the surf. We'll see you on the cross and sunny coast. We'll find you here at the bottom of the hill. I am done with the rain. The good news is it should be clearing up for tomorrow. Seeing around 14 right now. It is dropping to 9 overnight.